Rogers. Welcome to Eco Ask Why. Now we're trying something new and it's called Straight Talks with Chris. Now this one's coming out right at the end of 2021. So I'm actually going to take this topic today and just talk about what happened this year because it has been one crazy year for industry. I'm sure you would all agree. So these are going to be a little more informal. It's just going to be random thoughts coming at you. And I really want feedback. We want to understand what, what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What other topics that you want me to cover? Things like that. So if you look back at 2021, it's been bad enough from a manufacturing standpoint that we had to deal with workforce attrition, the skills gap. You have aging infrastructure. You know, these plants are getting older and older and older. But 2021 brought in a whole new element. And I think you all know where I'm getting ready to go. Supply chain. It has been a struggle. Now, just think about it. You know, from chip shortages to raw material, it's impacting everyone. You can go down to your local home improvement store. You can even go down to, you know, just anywhere that you buy groceries and things like that. It's impacting everyone across the board. And the roller coaster has been impacting manufacturing too, right? So if you take topics like just-in-time manufacturing, or if you look at how sometimes these plants are storing their products and building up their inventory, including the, go the global economy, all these things have struggled to keep up and move. And now you've coupled on top of it this topic of shipping, these ships are getting stuck in the ports and, and companies can't get their product. Supply chain has just been a, a struggle. You know, coming into 2021, we were still trying to figure out COVID, right, from a standpoint and figuring out what that new normal looks like from a manufacturing world that's different than anything else. So when you threw that ripple in it, man, it really caused a lot of disruption. Now, I want to talk to you briefly about what the supply chain disruption actually meant from a distributor standpoint, because Eco is a distributor, right? So we've had to really shift how we serve customers. We had to think more virtually. You know, how can we do virtual demos, virtual meetings? If we couldn't come on site to support a customer, what can we do to engage them and still provide value? And that has really shifted the way we had to do work. Then content. We started thinking about actual content. What do we need to be building to help these manufacturers understand some of these solutions that are out there and be able to help them even though we're not on site? So content that engages, that it teaches, you know, and just new ways to serve customers in general because COVID has been, uh, it's been tricky. And then you got this whole supply thing and that's created a lot of friction between distributors, the manufacturers who make the product and the end users who are buying it. So, I want to give you a few points that I was thinking about for this Straight Talk episode to really move forward and consider to help make things a little bit better. Number one, communication. Okay. I think we all just need to do a better job of communicating, period. We, you know, the whole world of teams and chats and things like that, people can be very abrupt. Email is very, the way people perceive email and read it, it's different for everyone, right? So I think, you know, not to be too old school, but let's go back to the days of actually picking up the phone and calling and talking to each other and being engaging in a conversation. And from a communication standpoint, as a distributor, we need to be communicating what our vendors are telling us. And then we need to be communicating that to the end users on a consistent basis and, and, and vice versa. End users need to be communicating what they need, what their expectations are, and back and forth. So communication, I think, at the end of the day, is a big one that's going to help a lot as we move through the supply chain issues and try to figure out ways to support each other in the future. Number two, not going to like this one, but patience. We're going to have to be patient with each other. We have to give each other some grace because you know what? This supply chain issue is not going to fix itself overnight. It's going to take some time. But getting upset and, and, and venting that frustration, it doesn't fix anything. So again, if we can communicate clearly, clearly on our expectations and if we can uh, work together and try to figure out what can we do, maybe there are other alternatives for certain products that we need to look at, things like that. So, But at the end of the day, we've got to be patient with each other and we've got to just really move forward together for a solution. And the third big thing, I think I, everybody's going to get behind this one, is we just need more manufacturing in the USA. We need to bring it back, new, more insurance. Because the more self-reliant we are, 
and, and we can actually make product, the less we have to worry about these types of hurdles, right? And think about when a plant or a new manufacturing facility comes to an area. You know, we, we live in North Carolina. Apples can come in. And when they're coming in, they're bringing these new jobs, which does what? It raises the real estate value, property values go up, the local businesses get impacted. There's so much downstream ripple that happens when you have a manufacturing plant open in the United States. It's not just about the plant that opens up. It's about all the supporting businesses around it, as well as continued businesses that can support those plants, like the contractors, the the people who who do clean the buildings. I mean, it really, the ripple is massive down to the local restaurants that feed the workers during lunch and things like that. So I'm really big on buying local, encouraging others, you know, support those local businesses. And I think those three areas, communication, patience with each other, and then bigger surgeons and importance on manufacturing in the U.S. So 2021, what a crazy year. You know, we were definitely all glad to see 2020 go. 2021, I think, is the same way. Let's let's get this one behind us and let's see what 2022 brings us. It's been a crazy year for the podcast, too. We've had a lot of cool things happen. So just keep listening. If you like these straight talks with Chris's episodes, let us know. Let us know what topics you'd like for us to bring back. Challenge my thinking. Where am I off? What did I miss about 2021? Because I'm sure I missed a lot. I gave a little high level here. And that supply chain really jumped out. But what else is it? What else has impacted your 2021 that you want to see fixed for next year? So bring us those topics. Bring us those war stories. We still are collecting those. We want to understand that. Because that's just a cool way to talk about what's going on in manufacturing. What are some ways that, you know, if you're sitting around a dinner table and you're telling family a cool story about, hey, this piece of equipment went down and here's what we did to fix it. Those are the types of stories we want to hear. So check out the show notes. Those links are there where you can make those submissions right there. And remember, give us that five-star rating. Leave us a review. It could literally be one sentence. And that's all it takes. One sentence makes a big difference in the podcasting world. So if you're finding value in what EcoAssWise is doing, please, that would mean the world to us. So hope you enjoy Straight Talk with Chris, episode one. And remember, keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E E C O. A-S-K-S-W-H-Y dot com.